Hmm. There's so many reasons. Um, music puts a smile on my face because, I don't know, like sometimes it just hypes me up if there's, it doesn't even have to be anyone singing, like just like the beat and the sound and the emotion. I think one of the most incredible things about music is that it gets people to dance. And um, that's like a gift in life if you can dance, you know? Um, and just like let go. And sometimes it makes me smile because if I'm seeing somebody perform, I'm like happy for their success, you know? And that just like inspires me and brings me joy. This video is brought to you by Live Forever Media. We all are from different parts of Afghanistan, and we speak in different languages. Right. Yeah, but we communicate in Farsi, which is one of the main languages, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it's and it's it's it's, it's a sort of a reflection to what country has been through. Like, we have a lot of uh, like division within the within the country that right. every ethnicity kind of pulls each other's you know legs. But now things have changed a lot because. Um, the youth doesn't really care much about it um, as much as they did in, in the back. You see the media, you see the Western media, how they portray your country that you're living in, your city, and then that's a reflection, and then you start questioning things and you don't find an answer. So that becomes kind of like sort of an anger, right? And then where do you invest that, or where do you want to put in or kind of release it, I guess? Because I still do remember like watching the videos of Nirvana and I was like, oh, I want to be that guy. Three people making shit loads of noise. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the lyrics and nothing really mattered in the beginning, honestly. Didn't give a crap about anything. It's just that riff, the drum, and everything was so catchy and so mm -hmm. relevant. And then I start reading the translation of Kurt Cobain's lyrics. I was like, oh, I can relate to that because, you know, say 18 year old kid again, you know, I mean 17, teenager, a refugee, needed something to connect needed something to, to find my my home in a way. Mm -hmm. And when you are you know, when you are a little isolated, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good I guess. So it worked out in a positive way to me. G you know, that's it, like oh the, and it's it's again right it sounds easy but it's so creatively written that song. I was like, wow, it, it blew my mind. I think Oasis is one of the main bands I was talking to my manager yesterday that literally changed my life in terms of, it make you believe, I guess, that you can also do, maybe just because where they are coming from and um, not necessarily the, geographically not like the same, but they were, you know, working class. Right. And we're here are refugees. Somehow, again, once you're isolated, you look for people that kind of been through something that you can relate to right. and yet their music is, has nothing to do with what they've been through it's nothing to do like it's very beautifully written songs it's like, wow There was a period when we just didn't do any any press and stop because the way they were showing us is like, okay, um, Taliban, no music, then these guys. Like they're sort of showing as if the aim of our music is to, uh, I don't know, to like oppose them. It's or sort of like. an introduction yeah. of our band to them 
hey, these guys are doing this, what do you guys think? Well, what they think is totally obvious. Oh, yeah. They were yeah. not just fear, they were direct threats. <laughs> Right, yeah, yeah. The, I mean it started we would like sometimes our show got cancelled sometimes they cut electricity on us while we we're playing and they uh, like they indirectly ask us to stop because they, the venue is afraid that something is gonna happen mm -hmm. um, the boys and girls start like dancing together when we're playing and then oh yeah. what the fuck is going on there you know they don't the, so yeah. I was like yeah but they're not doing anything bad everybody is into themselves and enjoying I think that mindset, you know, and also we try to, like, we try to not to get caught with where, like, where we are coming from, and then to use that to our advantage because sometimes we have this inner um, struggle. I mean, at least myself. Uh, it's a great tool. It, it's great, and we're super proud of where we are from. But sometimes people use the country's name for a very negative, uh, like, elements because of war and everything. So I was like, yeah, but that's where we're from. That's, that country gave us this. That yeah. country gave us whatever we're doing right now, made us who we are. So we have to give that country a lot of the credit too. And for us now, 10 years looking back, I was like, we want to see another band coming out of Afghanistan. Right. You know, we want right. to see that. And I, I want, when, 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 when we saw other bands from the neighboring countries, it's like, oh, that band is really cool because they're still in Central Asia, right? They still have, we still have a very somewhat similar struggle. So we got inspired by them, especially when we went to India, we saw a lot of like Nepali and Indian heavy metal bands. Was like, what the fuck is that? Like, yeah. It's very cool. Uh, really good ones. And now I was like, it's, it's sort of a, like, if somebody gets inspired by what we do now, like, that would make us happy.